I think we should try and get free stuff because I I had a complaint. I've got a complaint in with McDonald's at the moment because I went to McDonald's and the they're not open night. long enough. <laughs> yeah, they're not open long enough, <laughs> and they won't give me stuff for free, which was essentially my complaint. Yeah, because I went there the other night in the middle of the night on the way home from a gig, and there was a gang of lads in a people carrier in front of us in the drive-through, and they just held. I mean, waited there for like twenty-five minutes. Really? Yeah. What were they doing? And then got just fucking about. They were pissing in the in the trees, and they were on the phones and that. Leaning on the car, that sort of shit. Anyway, it took 25 minutes, and the bloke had come out and with him with a little digi pack thing, and it took uh, the, you know the order for it. Yeah. But then when we got to the windows, pay for it. There's no one there. Right. So the bloke with the little portable thing went, just mate, just go to the final window, and just get it. It's fine. Went to the final window. Yeah. And and really accusatory went, have you paid? And I went, well, I've tried. Was it a different bloke? Or was it the same bloke with a moustache drawn on? No, it was a McDonald's at London Coney. I'll say it now, just off right. the M25, because he'd not replied to my complaint. And then I said, I've tried to. I said, I've been waiting for 25 minutes. And he went, no, you've not. <laughs> right? Which is, I'd say, the absolute last thing you want to hear when you have. <laughs> when you have been waiting for 25 minutes. It's the absolute last thing you want to hear. So anyway, he went, well, you've got to pay for it. And I went, I've no interest. I said, I don't even want it anymore. It was only a Big Mac. I went, I don't even want it anymore. I'm just furious. And I went, and another thing, because I was sort of scrabbling for things to say then, and I went, and another thing, your car park is a disgrace. (laughs) And drove off. And I felt so middle class. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't eat from here anyway, because the litter surrounding your restaurant, as you call it, <laughs> is quite frankly diabolical. But I thought what we could do is every week, we'll, uh, we've not done it yet, by the way, I should say, but every week we'll, we'll write a letter. It's not the same thing. <laughs> it's different, actually, before you start saying that. Uh, we'll write a letter. Um, to try and get some free stuff. All right, cool. Because I didn't you do that at university? I did it when I was quite bored at uni. Yeah. Okay, well I'm quite bored at home now. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my housemate used to write letters to people to get free stuff. Did you get anything there? Yeah. No, <clears throat> oh, you did. You got um, uh, what was it? Uh, Cadbury's animal, animals, bis- animal, animal biscuits. biscuits. Yeah. Because we wrote we wrote a letter set because. Boxes of Cadbury's Animal Biscuits yeah. um, have masks on the back that you can cut out. I think they're for kids, really. All right. Okay. Like animal masks <laughs> yeah. that you can cut out and wear them as little cardboard eye masks. But um, me, me and my housemate cut out a mask um, and put it in an envelope and sent a letter saying that mm. the mask was very, very small. <laughs> and that our son, we, we said we were a married couple, but okay. our son, Fraser, yeah. had a, an abnormally large face. <laughs> <laughs> and he re- he really wanted a mask yeah. and he was quite he was quite self-conscious about his big face so whenever he put it on he would get bullied because it just made his face look bigger and at the bottom we put ps we're also having a similar problem with Fraser's friend pinhead <laughs> <laughs> And they sent us, a, uh, I think, three <laughs> three free bags of animal biscuits. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Even, would they have even taken it seriously, though? No, I think, uh, to be honest, with most of these places, if you write a funny letter, yeah. customer service people get so bored with, like, inane rambling. They send it you for thank you for your, people. Yeah. entertainment. Yeah, they have a laugh, go, whack a couple of bags in there. So That's oh. perhaps where I went wrong with my McDonald's email. Yeah, it was a bit too serious. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> think when you write an official letter, you're meant to say cunt. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.